Hello, Jim Jug 23 here, and for 31 movies for 31 days of Halloween, me and my sister watched It Chapter 1 and 2. And I know what you're thinking, but isn't it supposed to be 31 movies, not 32? I don't give a f. What did you think of It Chapter 1? It was pretty good. They defeated the clown with the magic of friendship, <laughs> with the power of friendship. Yeah. It, was, it was good, but like, but like a, you only watch once kind of good, you know? Mm -hmm. How'd you feel about Pennywise? <laughs> He's so goofy looking. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? I don't know. The fat kid. <laughs> the fat kid. Okay. What would you rate out of 10? Like, 6 or 7. Okay. So, we watched it chapter 1. And, um, it's not as good as I remember it being. It's really goofy. <laughs> I can't take, um, Pennywise seriously. And since I've seen the miniseries, I can say that the original, like the kid part of the original, is better than this one. I don't like how they defeat him in the end, and I find all of the characters to be kind of unbelievable. Like, they're all like, there's that one bully character that's unnecessarily violent and mean for no reason. He literally carves an H into the fat guy's stomach. Like, and I, I know that's in the original too, and it's a problem with the original. Um, at least there's no kid orgy in this yeah one. um but there's some cool stuff like the blood sink and the georgie scene with the sewer but i think that uh, the sewer scene is better than the original as well um my favorite character would have to be probably pennywise because of just how <laughs> absurd he is um and i would give it a three out of ten Hey, characters like Mike and Richie feel really underdeveloped and like Mike gets some lines here and there. Yeah. I'm like, he didn't earn this. He's not really he just a like there. He just like randomly shows up in He's the group. Kind of there. Um, and I don't like the fact that Billy and the one girl get together at the end. I think that's dumb. But uh Yeah, her and the other kid were flirting the whole time. Some of it's pretty entertaining. Some of it's so bad it's good sometimes, but not, not as good as it could have been. Coming in the kitchen, what'd you think of uh, It Chapter 2? That was such ass, oh my god. Okay. Uh, talk about it. There's like, it, there's like, there's like no plot. It was like the plot of the first movie and then they just added more shit to make it like three hours long. And there was a bunch of strobe lights, like I thought I was gonna have a seizure. And then the ending dragged on way too long. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? The Naked Grandma. Naked Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate it out of 10? One. So we watched um, it Chapter 2, and I heard it was bad. Everyone told me it was bad. This one makes the first one look like fucking a godfather or some shit because what the fuck this movie is absolutely awful like zoe said it's like just redoing the first movie they play a lot like they play at least like 20 minutes worth of the first movie in this movie it's two and a half uh two and a half hours boring as fuck like, there's no, I don't think there's anything redeemable about it. Like, it's just uninteresting. It's as goofy. It's goof. Like, the things that are supposed to be scary are goofy. And it's not nearly as funny as the first one yeah. in that aspect. Yeah. Um, it's all the, like, going back to get the artifacts and going and seeing the clown again is just filler. That whole like, 40 minute sequence is filler and they take Mike out of the movie completely. Richie's just all of a sudden gay, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they kill off this gay character at the beginning for no good reason because later on there's another little girl who dies. It's just unnecessary. They take out the whole thing from the original 
where they have the little girl with the uh, like the laundry and shit, and that shit's like fire. So I, they got rid of that. They throw in the fort that they didn't establish in the first one out of nowhere. A lot of it is very confusing, and there's a lot of plot holes, and it doesn't really work at all. Oh my god, Eddie dies, and I don't give a fuck because Eddie was not likable in the movie. Every character acts as if the script told them, hey, act like the kids from the first movie, except they're 30 years old and yet they're acting like fucking children the whole movie. My favorite character was, uh, um, Mike, maybe, I guess. He's, he's pretty good in this one. Um, I really don't like the guy they chose for Billy. He's the guy who plays Professor X in the uh, X-Men remake mm -hmm. things. He's like trying so hard to but do an American accent, but he's it's... He's yeah. British. I mean, yeah. He's British. But all I can see is Professor X. He was like Southern at some point. Like yeah. his accent changed every scene. He'd be like from American to... And then I feel like the whole romance with Bev, or Beverly with... Uh, that kid, I don't even fucking remember his name, ben. who looks like Doctor Strange and Tony Stark had a baby. <laughs> they just make him ripped for ben. some reason. Yeah, and then they get together, and that doesn't feel earned, even though that's what I wanted to happen. It just kind of happens in the last 20 minutes of the movie. I would give, honestly, I was thinking about it. I was initially thinking that it would be a little higher than this, but I'm going to give this movie a zero. Mm. Zero out of ten. Absolutely garbage. For Inktober, I made a little mistake, and I put day 10's Inktober yesterday, but for day 9 of Inktober, which was supposed to be yesterday, you know, whatever, the word was sun. So I made this little poster for Children of the Sun. And you, you, you can tell this is gonna be a pretty violent and disturbing movie. Um, thanks for watching. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>